So guys, this is a polyglot programmer. I have been away for a while. I know at least two, maybe three months. I don't know. Sorry about that. In the meantime, lots have, have happened. I got married. I got a new house. Crazy. Had to move. Um, working a lot as always. I stopped for a while doing the videos, but now um, I I definitely want to come back. It's definitely something I want to pick it up again. And I want to try to diversify a little bit. I'm going to still do lead code, but I want to do like different types of exercises. I'm going to, today, for example, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do this, uh, this shell scripting one, which is a super easy one. Uh, just to change around a little bit. Uh, next week, we have the Advent of Code 2020, which goes through the entire month of December so I do want to do that also and uh, I'm hoping to stream live or post my my video exercises for you guys and also I want to do some other types of videos like some tutorials maybe some Kubernetes cloud stuff that I, I noticed that a lot of people have the need to know about this stuff although there are already a bunch of videos on the internet but who knows maybe you guys like my explanation better than the other ones. Um, all right, so let's do this one. Um, okay, so this one is uh, it's a shell scripting exercise. We can get this done in one line. You can think of this as as your as like your 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 terminal, like you have something here, right? Um, and so, given a text file, file dot text. Uh, print just the tenth line of the file. So you you only want to print the tenth file, the tenth line. So you can't do like cat file dot text because that you're gonna print the entire file, right? So to do that, there's a num there are a number of options. You can use uh, seq. You can use tail, which is the one that I'm gonna use. I think is the most straightforward one. Um, there's a bunch of other options. Um, as he, he says here himself, so there's at least three different solutions. So the way I want to do this is that I want to do a tail, uh, I'm going to do a tail command and I'm going to tell it to tail from the tenth line onwards. So the tail command is a command that it's, it's almost like cat, but actually just prints the end of the file. And if you don't specify, you'll print from the end up into a point or you have some flags where you can specify to follow the file if you have a log file that is being uh, continually, continually growing for example and after I use the tail I'm gonna use I'm gonna pipe the result of that command into a head command which as you can imagine it does the opposite so I'm gonna do what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do tail. I'm going to say, hey, tail this file from the 10 line forward. And then I'm going to do the head. And then I'm going to say, hey, I want to do, I want you to get the result from that command. And I want you to show me the head up to the first line. So then I'm going to cut from the, uh, I'm going to cut to the 10 forward. And then I'm going to cut. To the first and then the, the only line that's gonna survive is the, is the last one so the way we do this is pretty straightforward tail um, n plus 10 and then here we just pass the name of the file file.txt and here we use a pipe if you don't know what a pipe is it's 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 important that you take a look pipe is when you get whatever is the output from this guy we're going to input into the next um, head and opa and one uh, so this is the same like yeah imagine uh, when you're piping you can see that we're not typing the name of the file here or anything because uh, because when, when you pipe, you, you're taking the output of this guy and you adding as an input of this guy. This will be the same as doing something like this, like 
like outputting this into output dot text and then in another line another command then you could uh, output dot text then you're getting the output from one in as an input to the to, to the next one but we don't want to do that uh, shell scripting is a lot of we, uh, you, you always do a lot of things in just one line and boom whoa look at this faster than a hundred percent of bash line submissions that's amazing so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one uh I, i'm gonna give another tip here um if you guys don't know a lot about shell scripting uh, a good like for example oh, uh, i want to use tail but i don't really know how it works and what does that do i mean a lot of people just do this right um like help but help doesn't always tell you everything that you need to know so a good um a good tool that you need to that it's you need to get used to when you working with shell scripting and unix systems uh, of, uh, also is the manual tool so here you can uh, you can see that already used so manual tail so you can see here yeah you can see here that here is, is a manual of everything so like that is a description this is basically what you see on the help and there's a full-on description with a full-on description of a each flag and you guys can see here that this is the flag that we used um, and if you do that for man head we'll get the same thing and you can do for everything like man um, alas for example uh, right um, yeah man file same thing here uh, man open and it goes on and on and on all right that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said i'm back i'm gonna keep posting videos i'm gonna try to do it as often as i can at least once a week probably more i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i see you back see you see you around <laughs>